Now we experience double Khachaturian. Maher Khachaturian, the artist, graces the canvas in magical synchronicity with the music of Aram Khachaturian, the composer. Moher Khachaturian, the painter, forms a quartet with the trio of musicians, Ian Breitzer, clarinetist, Alexei Shabalin, violinist, and me, Judith Lynn Stillman, pianist. Here, the bowed violin strokes, the breath of the clarinet, the caress of the piano keys, and the dance of the artist's brush meld and shape in one harmonic resonance. The Armenian-born and currently New York-based artist, Maher Khachatryan, was born in 1983 in Yerevan. At the age of nine, he attended the art school of Hagob Kojoyan, where he studied all aspects of art, including anatomy, sculpture, watercolor, figure painting, drawing, and still life, then pursued studies at the art college of Panos Telemezian, and in 2003 received his MFA at the Academy of Fine Arts in Yerevan. Moher's work is exhibited in the Armenian National Gallery. Composer Aram Khachaturian was born in 1903 into an Armenian family in the largest city of the Caucasus, Tiflis, or Tbilisi in present-day Georgia. In an article written by Khachaturian in 1952, he described the multicultural city environment and its influence on his music. I grew up in an atmosphere rich in folk music, popular festivities, rites, Joyous and sad events in the life of the people were always accompanied by music. The vivid tunes of Armenian and Georgian songs and dances performed by folk bards and musicians. Such were the impressions that became deeply engraved on my memory, that determined my musical thinking. They shaped my musical consciousness and lay at the foundations of my artistic personality. Whatever the changes and improvements that took place in my musical taste in later years, their original substance, formed in early childhood in close communion with the people, has always remained the natural soil, nourishing all my work.
Pair paints from a deeply emotional perspective, connecting his art to visceral feeling in the moment, moved by and moving with the music. He seeks his own individual style, assiduously avoiding imitation of any other artists. He views his art as communication through thoughtful and independent connection to individuality, using traditional knowledge as a basis from which to depart, striving to express the depths of his inner thoughts and emotions. Art is my life, he quips, and he views his task as the creation of living art. As a mentor in his teaching, Maher encourages a more structured approach, addressing shapes, shades, and proportions. But in this evening's creation, rules are abandoned, and the process flows freely, impassioned and uninhibited in an improvisatory dance with heart and hands in sync with Aram Khachaturian's music. In 1950, Aram Khachturian was a mentor as well, teaching composition at his alma maters, the Gnesen Institute, and later at the Moscow Conservatory, teaching notable students, including Edgar Hovanisyan. During his career as a university professor, Khachturian emphasized the role of folk music to his students and instilled the idea that composers should master their nation's folk music heritage. Khachaturian's music was described by critics as often imitating the rhapsodic and improvisatory style of the ancient Armenian troubadours, as reflecting straightforward cheerfulness, and the trio as displaying Khachaturian's trademark use of cross rhythm, folk songs, and harmonies that could be thorny at certain times or bittersweet at others. Prokofiev championed this work and ensured that it was performed and published in Paris soon after its composition.
The philosophies of the French symbolist painter Gustave Moreau influence and inspire Maher. Moreau references the inner flashes of intuition which have something divine in their apparent insignificance and reveal magic, even divine horizons when they are transposed into the marvelous effects of pure art. Gustave Moreau goes on to say, I believe neither in what I touch nor in what I see. I only believe in what I do not see and solely in what I feel. For Maher, art provides the quintessential opportunity to get to know oneself and the world, to open up a new way of being. As a result, he says, art draws us closer to God. He is deeply reverent and spiritual. Ornial der mer Jesus Christos, amen. Heil mer, mor herkineses, sur pieritianum ko, vigesar kaichun ko, pieritzin gam ko, mor mes herkines evergri, Amen. The little Armenian girl is painted in white to reflect her purity and the face and hands are softer, further embodying her spirit of innocence. The starkly gray background in bleak, melancholy contrast created with very few colors personifies the emptiness and darkness around her, revealing her sense of isolation. Moher reflects on the Armenian genocide, the darkest chapter in the history of his people. As difficult as it is to think about it, it is our duty to come together and to remember what happened in order to stop genocides worldwide. Every year in April, Meher exhibits genocide artwork and tries to raise awareness about the Armenian genocide. There is pain, passion, and power in the Khachaturian trio that drives Meher's hands, his artwork coming to life as he listens to the music. He describes that the child in the painting seeks help and protection. She doesn't understand why the world is so cruel and what she did to deserve all that pain. He wants people to take away the message from this artwork that nothing is worth more than human life. Nothing warrants children's tears. We need to protect our world, our people. Together, we can make the world a better and safer place for generations to come. with her deceased mother in her imagination to mollify 
to mitigate, to recreate in fantasy as her arms extend to embrace the vestigial, childlike outline of the maternal figure. Our hearts break for her. This painting is entitled, I Miss You, Mom. invites us to experience viscerally the little girl's anguish, desolation, and heartache. As the music gradually dissipates into oblivion and the artist's brush caresses the canvas in the painting's poignant final touches. <laughs> 